Hey friends, I'm Pastor Joe. Today is Thursday and I have your word for the day. Let me ask you a question. Do you have three friends in your life that you can partner with to carry somebody to Jesus? Let me read an incredible passage from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 2, beginning in verse 1. When Jesus returned to Capernaum several days later, the news spread quickly that he was back home. Soon the house where he was staying was so packed with visitors, there was no more room even outside the door. And while he was preaching God's word to them, four men arrived carrying a paralyzed man on a mat. They couldn't bring him uh, to Jesus because of the crowd, so they dug a hole through the roof above his head. Then they lowered the man on his mat right down in front of Jesus. Seeing their faith, Jesus said to the paralyzed man, My child, your sins are forgiven. But some of the teachers of religious law who were sitting there thought to themselves, What is he saying? This is blasphemy. Only God can forgive sins. Jesus knew immediately what they were thinking. So he said to the young man, or so he said to them, Why do you question this in your hearts? Is it easier to say to the paralyzed man, Your sins are forgiven, or stand up, pick up your mat, and walk? So I will prove to you that the Son of Man has the authority on earth to forgive sins. Then Jesus turned to the paralyzed man and said to him, Stand up. Pick up your mat and go home. And the man jumped up, grabbed his mat, walked out through the stunned onlookers. They were all amazed and praised God, exclaiming, We've never seen anything like this before. One man, two men, three men, four men, four people carried this paralyzed man to Jesus. Do you have a friend or a family member that needs to be carried to Jesus? I can almost bet that you do have somebody in your life that is not yet a follower of Jesus. They've not experienced forgiveness. They've not experienced hope. They've never been touched by the love of God. Let me ask you a question. What is that person's name? Where do they live? I want to invite you to invite three other people to begin praying for your friend or family member and allow your prayers to bring that person to Jesus. Reach out to three friends on Facebook, text them, email them, call them. Share your burden for that friend or family member and give them specific details like their name, uh, maybe some strongholds that they have in their life and ask your three friends to join you and pray for that person's needs and that they would be drawn to Jesus. I believe God will hear your prayers and I believe that God wants to see your friend forgiven for their sins. So be humble, take a step of faith like these men did, reach out for somebody else, reach out for help, and let's see God work in your friends' lives. If today's word for the day has blessed you, apply it, like it, share it, and leave a comment. God bless.